Pleasure. Before I get into political questions, obviously the tr uh, what's unfolding in Orlando is on top of mind for, for many viewers. Uh, we don't know the motivation. Uh, we just know there's a lot of, uh, a lot of um, dead people right now, a lot of injured people. Uh, whether it's gun-related, terrorism-related, hate crime-related, it's a massive shooting. Your reaction? Uh, it's, it's horrific. It's unthinkable. Uh, and our, you know, just hopes go out to all those who are shot that they can recover. And I got to tell you, you know, over 25 years ago, I believe that in this country we should not be selling uh, automatic weapons which are designed to kill people. And we have got to do everything that we can on top of that to make sure that guns do not fall into the hands of uh, people who should not have them, criminals or people who are mentally ill. So uh, that struggle continues. You think we can ever have a conversation where we have the terrorism conversation and the gun conversation where it can, where, where everybody can sit down and, and, and have this without trying to politicize one one version of events over the other? I, I do, Chuck, uh, because I think that there is a very broad consensus in this country, not 100% of the people. Overwhelming majority of gun owners and non-gun owners uh, understand uh, that we have got to do everything that we can to prevent guns from falling into the hands of people who should not have them. That means expanding the instant uh, background check. It means doing away with the gun show loophole. It means addressing the straw man provision. I think there is a wide consensus to move forward in that direction. All right, let me move to a, a couple.